Hi guys, welcome back to the Padded Paddle Room. Today we're going to look at the uh, Headrush MX-5. So I had a request from uh, one of the viewers here, JF Official. So basically he's asking me here, uh, he says he's a fan of the real 5150 from the mid 90s. All right, so let me see if I could come up with a uh, convincing sound for a 5150 uh, from mid 90s about. So let's give this a try. So today I will be using one of my last balls. See if we can get a sound. I know that it's not the type of guitar that uh, maybe somebody who uses a 5150 style rig uses, but we're gonna give it a try anyways. I wanted something with some humbuckers. Let's turn on the rig. Where's my pick? All right, so to start off the rig, we're gonna hit the dot, 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 for those of you that don't know, and we're gonna create a new rig. So now we have a blank rig to start with, basically. So um, I'm gonna start by picking an amp, and obviously we are going to pick, we're gonna go with the PV51 to crunch. So let's go with the crunch. Now it picks a cab by default. Let's just hear what it sounds like. Maybe we'll use that, I don't know. Okay, so that's our 5150 amp basically. Now, as I've done in previous uh, rigs, I will do one with the stock cab and I will do one with a, an impulse response. So we can compare between the two a little bit. Um, now, with this rig, I kind of want a little bit a, of, uh, I'm going to go with some reverb. Uh, reverb, let's see. Let's go with some uh, 11 reverb. And let's go with a small plate. There we go. <laughs> Let me put a little bit of echo in there as well. Let's put some BBD delay and we're going to go with some echo light. All right, let's try it. All right, starting to shape up. So let's put some compression in there. We're going to put some uh, 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 Dynamics EQ, Dynacomp, and we're going to go with tight AF. <laughs> Starting to shape up. Let's see here. Let's try an equalizer at the end. A graphic EQ. We're going to go brighter. Let's see here. Just Let see here. <laughs> that takes care of the rig with the stock cab now let's put a uh, an impulse response just so we can uh, compare now we're going to click on the cab we're going to turn it off and now we're going to click here we're going to pick an ir i'm going to go to our irs default and we're going to go pick uh these are impulse responses that i bought from celestian i do a G12H, cream back 412, uh, high gain 121. Yeah, this is what I'd like by default normally. So let's see here. Ooh, that's, that's a little loud. So let's, uh, let's bring the gain down to minus 12. Now, as I've mentioned before in previous videos, a trick I've learned from Rhett Shaw to kind of make it emulate more like a, a speaker cabinet is to bring the high cut from 20,000 hertz down to about 5,000. Anywhere between 5,000 and 6,000 is good, basically. And the low cut, bring it up to about, I don't know, 50 hertz, 60 hertz, something like that. Let's see if we compare that volume with the volume now. Okay. All right, so 
Now, um, the song I want to try, we're going to actually put in uh, a modulation here to bring in that kind of sound. We're going to go with a stone phaser. Stone phaser, we're going to go with a default mono. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's try playing this in the mix now. We just got to hear the comparison of the stock cab uh, versus the uh, impulse response. Jeff Official, I hope these uh, sounds were the type of sounds that you were looking for. If any of you have any questions or if uh, you want me to uh, make any other types of rigs, just leave a comment below and uh, it'll be my pleasure to make more rigs for you guys. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.